How to use Copper CRM Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Are you looking for a powerful CRM or customer relationship management to help manage your business contacts and leads? If so, you might be interested in Copper CRM. Copper is a user-friendly CRM designed to help small and medium-sized businesses streamline their sales processes and improve customer relationships. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the basics of how to use Copper CRM. We'll start by showing you how to set up your account and navigate the Copper interface. Then, we'll dive into the different features Copper offers and including contacts and lead management, email integration, and reporting. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to use Copper CRM to manage your business contacts and streamline your sales processes. So, whether you're new to Copper or just looking to brush up on your skills, this tutorial is for you. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is go to copper.com. This is the homepage of Copper CRM. After that, you're simply going to click on Go to Copper. And over here, you're going to sign in or sign up into your account by clicking on Create an Account over here. Now, after signing up or signing in, this is what you would find yourself in. As you can see here, we have a lot of things that we could check out. So we're going to check them out one by one. Let's first start with this left side over here. We have our profile over here. We have this option to add Copper to Gmail if you would like to use Gmail with Copper. You could also check out the people over here. This is where you're going to add your contacts. We have companies over here similar to people. You could add your company over here. Companies that you are related to or in contact with. You can also check out your pipelines, task, marketing tools, my truck emails, and reports over here. You could add teammates or users by clicking this option over here. Now to add people to your contact list, you can simply click on add a person over here. And over here, you could add a profile, your first name, for example, John, middle name, last name, prefix, suffix, and all of those stuff. You could also add the company, title, contact type, you could choose from potential customer, current customer, other, or manager. The manager is a customized contact type. You could check out the different custom types by clicking that and you would be able to add a contact type over here depending on what type of name you would like to have. For example, old customer maybe. If you would like to keep the contacts of your old customer, you could have this as one of your contact types. Going back to add a person, we're going to do the same thing, John, just like that. You could also add their work email, their phone number, their work website, their socials, their address, their visibility from everyone, teams, individual only me or record owner only. You could also choose and add a description and add a tag. You could click on save over here. And as you can see, we have our very first contact. This is our first contact. You can simply edit their information once again over here later on if you would like to add more information you could see their interactions with you their activities like their interaction last contacted and inactive days over here you could also see their log activity and create note over here you could also see the related section over here where we could have opportunities tasks files and colored our events over here as you can see here also this is the first name title company email contact type last contact interaction and inactive days over here you could delete a contact by clicking on this button over here or select this section over here and you could click on delete over here you could also add relationship or export the list of your contacts now over here on the company it would be very similar you could add a new company by clicking on the button and then adding the name the work phone and all of this information and you would be able to successfully add the company to your list now we could check out our pipelines over here. We could click this. Now over here on the pipeline, you could visualize your process on how you do your things. We could click on create a pipeline over here. And as you can see, we have the option financial service. Financial services, we're going to select this. You could choose another category, maybe for a new investment, maybe. As you can see, it's automatically going to generate as a template. We're going to click on next. Over here, you could actually name your template. You could change it to any template that you want. Maybe invest, investment plan, just like that. Click on next. 
you could choose the different stages for your pipeline you could change the name over here and title you could also rearrange them by doing this just like that you could change the stages arrangement you could add a stage by clicking on this button over here just like that after fixing your stages you could click on done we're going to have to enter our name for our stage for the meantime finish deal maybe just like that and then click on done and now as you can see it is building our pipeline for us and just like that we have created a pipeline this is our investment research over here we can see initial conversion offers made verbal commitment and we could also see over here like more details like visuals here supposedly if and when we have our opportunities over here it will appear here as you can see here when you click this you would be able to see open opportunities my opportunities over here opportunities i'm following and one opportunities over here you could add opportunities by clicking on add and add this to testing just like that pipeline or primary conduct you could relate a contact maybe john just like that and company status owner stage over here you could fill out all of this information click on save and as you can see our opportunity would appear over here you could move them around depending on the stages of this opportunity you could put it to offers made verbal commit and all of those stuff you could also take it to lost abandon or one over here and it will automatically move this opportunity to the lost one or abandoned sections you can also see the finished deal in this section you could also change the value or sorting over here you could also change the way you see this list over here you could show it in list view you could edit opportunity management settings you could search also you could click on settings and you could customize the pipeline and create custom fields now over here on the task we're going to click this you could add a task similarly to what we did earlier with the people company and pipeline we're going to be similar for this task we're going to go with new task just like that click on save for the meantime you could add more information if you would like and as you can see here similar with how the contact or people is arranged it will be similar over here this is our task where uh, our activity type is phone call you could also check out the marketing tool over here we're going to click this as you can see here nurture your relationship with automatic marketing tool as you can see we cannot use our gmail address with this marketing tool which is out funnel and we would need to have an official business email right now i just use a gmail account so we won't be able to use this out funnel tool we can also check out our track emails over here right now we don't have any track email you would need to install a chrome extension so that they would be able to track your email box in gmail also similarly with how you could do add to copper to gmail over here you can also check out our reports over here we could request access and we would be able to access the report sections over here going back to our people we're going to click on our business plan over here we're going to see what available business plan is for copper as you can see here we have basic professional and business plans over here for the basic we have 23 dollars for the professional we have 59 dollars for the business we have 99 dollars when you pay annually you're going to save 21 percent 14 percent and 26 percent over here <clears throat> each plans has their own features and advantages so that you would be able to see the difference of the different plans over here as you can see here for the basic there is only 2500 contact limit for the professional there is 15,000, and for the business there is unlimited contacts over here below you could also see a checklist on the different things that is available and not available for the different plans as you can see here for the basic you can do bulk email email templates merge fields and all of these different options for the professional you could have bulk email mail templates and merge fields but the others is unavailable but for business it is all available for you now you could choose your payment method over here and you could successfully choose a plan for your copper and that's it guys that's the basics on how you could use copper crm hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching